Hey, we are Leanne Kristen. Welcome to our channel, Road Trip and Kings. All right, guys, we are down in Marimbula for the day. We've dropped our fur babies off at doggy daycare down the road from where we're staying. Um, just so we can have a bit of family time, I guess, without having to worry about the dogs. Yeah. Um, we've just had some brekkie down in town and now we've come down to, what's here at the beach? Bar Beach? Bar Beach. It's called Bar Beach. It's supposed to be a little area here where you can have a bit of a swim, snorkel, um, and the water looks magnificent. I'll show you. Have a look at that and check out the waves just in the middle over there, which is so weird. Never seen that before. This place is beautiful. Check it out. Jared. Come on, Jared. It's not that cold. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what the water is. It's a beautiful 29 degrees today. Um, feels like 32, but it's 29 degrees. The dogs are at doggy daycare. Um, we had plans for today. We we're going to take the kids snorkeling to Bermagui, um, but unfortunately, Nat's got a bit of a sore stomach. So we're staying in today. <laughs> so we're having a lazy, Lazy day at the van. We're just having some oysters for lunch, just some crackers and dips and cheese as well that we have some leftovers. Um, I'm hoping to get back into my book um, and hopefully squeeze in a nap before we pick the dogs up. Sounds like a good plan, I think. Just here to pick up some yummy oysters. Thirty dollars for three dozen. How cute is he? Do a rice wine vinegar um, dressing. dressing. And all it consists of, we've got the coriander in there. It's a bit windy out here, it's going to blow away. Chili. Garlic. Ginger. Ginger, sorry. Rice wine vinegar and a little bit of sugar. And that's all you need. Mix it all up, put it on top, and uh, more to bend. Beautiful, al dente. <laughs> so, give that a give that a shot.
that's good. Jared's going to do our first taste test. <laughs> and if you don't like it, Jared, guess what? Oh, more for us. It's Jamie Oliver's recipe. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Good? Yeah. Is it better than just lemon? Just different. Just different. Is it better than Kilpatrick? No. Ooh, I'll have to try one. I'm the only one that likes Kilpatrick anyways. Although, oh, yeah, well, prefers it, so... You got your daughter, I think buddy destroys it. That's way better than kill better. Here we go. The battle between mother and son continues. What's this game called, Chris? Why don't you put on concrete? Number toss. Number toss. <laughs> so we got introduced to this game when we were in Kangaroo Island one year. Oh, last year, last Easter. And um, <laughs> I was playing it with a little kid. It was, it was pretty fun. <laughs> So we ended up buying it and um, we're going to give it a whirl. Oh. So it's going to be son versus mother. Who missed two? All right, let's get back to the action. Chris needs nine. And she's caught it her last shot. So she is saying she's going for the nine. And look where the nine is. The nine's by itself. It's by itself. Right there. All right, let's see this. No pressure. Oh. That was like... When that baseball player, Babe Ruth, I think it was, pointed to the stands. and But he hit it. He got it. He got the home run. Kristen pointed and <laughs> it didn't go nowhere near it. Is this Jared's last shot? Is this Jared's last No. Yeah. Is it? Oh, here we go. All right. It could end here, people. Anything, he's out. This is his last shot. If he doesn't hit anything, he, he's out. Kristen wins. Come on, Jared. One more shot. He's sweating. He's still sweating from the chip, I think. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for broke, I think. Oh, he got it! Winner! So, you win the one chip challenge and you win the pin game, whatever. Pin game. Pin game. Numbers game. What is it? I don't know. I don't know, but it's a good game. Well done, Joe. What are you going to say? Who do you want to thank? Um, I thank my mum. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We've got something fun for you now. Yesterday we were in Marimba and we went to the, the sweet shop, which sells all American stuff. It's brilliant. The kids loved it. We spent a shit. A lot of money. <laughs> um, we come across this world's hottest chip it's not the one chip challenge which I thought it might have been but then I actually read the box and it wasn't but we're going to see how Kristen and Jared go together it's going to be mother versus son the greatest battle of all time alright so this is how we're going to do it the comp is whoever calls for this glass of milk first he's a loser so let's go into it choose your weapon <laughs> does it have to be a whole chip a whole chip it's going to be a good size chip yeah that's a good size chip yeah that's a good size chip all right <laughs> on a count of three one, two, three. Take your glasses off, Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> Take them off. <laughs> 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 
glasses off. <laughs> So much. Chris, <laughs> you're showing a lot. <laughs> scale, scale of 10. Eight. Eight? Yeah. Eight? Seven, Seven. Eight. Kristen? <sighs> What's the scale? My ears are burning. Your ears are burning. What would you, what would you write it? Out ten. of ten? Yeah, now it's starting to kick in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jerry reckons it's starting to kick in. You look pretty cool, calm and collected. <laughs> You're looking all sorts. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> all you have to do is call for this glass of milk. Anyone? <laughs> Can I tempt anyone? Jared? Can I tempt you? Ooh, they're playing hardball. This is my tongue. The more air you suck in. Alright, give me the milk. <laughs> you calling it? Yep. Calling it. Oh, Jared's the winner. <laughs> But Jared might be the loser too because that's all the milk we've got. Jared, what are you going to do? You're going to have to. You're just going to have to <coughs> ride it. Oh, oh mummy, love. Oh, that was hot. <laughs> now I had this yesterday and it blew my ears off, and no beer cold and no cold beer could ever fix it. So they're going to go through this pain for about 15 minutes, I reckon. <laughs> Alright, so Kristen, you're the winner. I mean, no, Jared, you're the winner. <laughs> Hold on. <coughs> what's, what's wrong, Kristen? It's <laughs> <laughs> Aaron, what was that? <laughs> you better clean that up. <laughs> as soon as you swallow the milk, it comes back. <laughs> Oh no. Oh, that's a stupid challenge. So, this is what it came down to. Jared won the fight, but look how miserable he looks. <laughs> Morning everyone. Um, it's a new day, a bit overcast today. You can see. It's still going to be a top of about 21 degrees or so today, so we'll see what that looks like. <laughs> um, so we are heading off to check out the Bega Cheese Heritage Centre. Um, we've dropped the dogs off at Doggy Daycare They're again. In jail. Just, the just down the road. They love it. They come back buggered, so they must love it in there. We've got just the two kids with us today, as usual. Got the headphones on, ignoring us. Um, I'm gonna go get a feed of cheese. That's what the first thing I want to do. And then we're going to go into town again and we're going to check out the Tarthra pub and have a, another feed. And I uh, might go do some droning. Send the, set, set the drone up down at the, um, the mouth of the Bega River and where the river meets the sea. And um, then we're going to have, for dinner actually, we've got a treat. So one of the guys from the Caravan Park won the fishing comp that was down here on the 27th and 28th with, by catching a nine kilo clean, clean gummy shark. And um, he's actually given me and Kristen uh, about a kilo of that. 
actual gummy shark. So we're going to cook that up tonight. I can't wait. I love gummy sharks. It's my favourite. So we've got a bit of an action-packed day and I might put on a couple of kilos. Well, I will. <laughs> we always do when we can. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So stay with us and uh, we'll show you what we get up to today. Well, we made it. We're here at Big Cheese Factory or Heritage, what is it? Heritage, Heritage Centre. Heritage like Centre. Well. Yeah, a bit of a museum. The kids are excited. Like, <laughs> Jared, are you excited? Yeah. Because we all <laughs> eat lactose. Yes, we all do. <laughs> As you can see, Natalie's so excited. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are you going to eat some cheese, Natalie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hopefully, hopefully, we get a little bit of a feed. Oh, I'm actually craving a milkshake. I wonder if they make milkshake. We always have a milkshake. A milkshake would be nice right now. So, here we go. Nice old building. I can't see it, can they? Maybe if you just actually <laughs> show them the building, they'd appreciate it. <laughs> that's what happens when you give me the camera. <laughs> Alright, let's go in and check this place out. Now this building that I'm standing at the moment is actually the original cheese factory. How's that? They brought it in here, set it back up. It's pretty cool. How cool is this? The old shop front stuff. Biscuits, and it's like potatoes and sugar. Found your marbles. Oh, I lost a long time ago. Mm -hmm. The old cash register over there as well. That is so cool. Now, I love me and mature cheese. So, I'm gonna get this bad boy. Oh my god, they got cakes. And they got milkshakes. So we're back from our day out, and uh, Kristen <laughs> reckons it's dessert time. She's going to try the fudge that she got. Right? Definitely. I don't know which one. That's a bit of an all sort though. It is. I'm going to try a chocolate one. Chocolate one, of course you are. Yes, yes, bend your finger, Mary. That's yours. Wow. <laughs> Definitely worth sixteen dollars twenty-eight. Yeah, that'll take you a while to get through though. You're not oh. going to eat all that quickly. Give me a taste. No, I don't think you're going to like it. Gonna... Okay. <laughs> oh, but the kids get, get it. Mm -hmm. Chocolate? Try a chocolate one. Oh, don't hand her one that you've already eaten. <laughs> you're <laughs> stingy. Better What's taste. Go on, Nats, what do you reckon? Give us the... It's like a cookies and cream. Yeah? <laughs> oh, well. 
That's the only, the only fudge you get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, like I said this morning, we're doing gummy. The guy gave it to us. Here it is. Look at that. Big and he also recommended us cutting it up into bite-sized nugget pieces and using this. So we're going to do that and we're just going to do some chips. Just some frozen chips from the supermarket, which we'll chuck on the Weber. But these guys are going to get coated and just pan fried over here. And you need a beer while you do it. If you guys remember, Lee picked up some kosher salt. We're gonna try it. See if it makes a difference. <laughs> no more salt. Yeah, <laughs> We're not Jewish, did, so it's not why, gonna make much of a difference. Why did we buy it? that for? I don't know why we bought it. Because I smoke meat. Uh huh. And they always ask for kosher salt. It's salt, but. Bloody American recipes. You can't get it in normal shops, so. No. I saw it, I wanted it. I'm not sure the salt tastes any better than <laughs> normal salt. <laughs> so I'm excited. Here we go. Gummy shark is my favourite. Favourite. All right. So we've got it in there, seasoned. Got the oil going. Here we go. Let's see the sizzle. Little nugget sized pieces. Natalie's gonna love these. Ain't that girl? Ain't nugget size. How long do you have to keep them in for a Ah, uh, a couple of minutes. That's it. Mm -mm -mm. Look at that. Taste test time. Taste test. Can't beat that. Gummy is my favourite. That makes me a very happy person. Can Chris, I taste it? You want some? Yeah. Alright. Here you go. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was getting a bite, not the whole piece. You got the whole piece? Oh, beautiful. That is beautiful. How's this? This is going to be special for you. So we just cook, caught the gum, uh, cooked up the gummy. <laughs> and uh, who decided to pop over? The man himself who <laughs> caught the gummy. And uh, introduce yourself. G'day. Name's Noonan. Yeah, went out fishing with the daughter and we were specifically targeting gummy sharks. We ended up, first time we went out, we got busted off, lost the first one. Second time we went out, we got one. He's about 10 kilos. And then this one that we got, we won the fishing comp with. And he went 9.9 .9 kilos undressed and nine kilos dressed. Not it's a bad fish. Not a bad fish, but you did you did uh, win more awards, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, we bloody won the heaviest snapper. Daughter won the heaviest snapper for the juniors. Uh, won the heaviest salmon. Um, yeah, yeah, we've done, we done all right. Come back, <laughs> come back with about 450 bucks and a rod and a reel and yeah, all the new shirts for the Tartra comp and stuff like that. He Beautiful. cleaned up, he cleaned up. And, cool. and if you want to catch up with him, he's here every year. Christmas time at Kalaroo. Yep. He'll give you some pointers. Yeah. Mud crab specialist. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, wait. Yeah, so that's another thing too. Dirty people in this world. Let's just touch mm. on this a little bit. Crab crab pots and all that, cray pots and all that. Yeah. Getting raided by other people is not a good thing. So you just had that happen today, didn't you? Did too, yes. Well, all week? All, all this week? Well, we suspected it for about a week. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, for but about a week. A trail cam. Trail cams. Good thing. Good thing. <laughs> Caught them red-handed, didn't they? Yeah. So it's all gone to the police now, and the fisheries will uh, follow it up. I think they're going yeah. to get back to me tomorrow. Yeah, get so. back to them. Yeah. All right, good morning, guys. It's Boxing Day, and uh, me and Rob have decided to come down and have a fish, have a flick down in the river in uh, Tatharat. But as we're driving down, we're a bit thirsty, we're a bit, you know, we need a coffee, it's early in the morning. So, we thought I might try something new. Um, if everyone knows my brother, and uh, my brother-in-law, King Dano's Adventures, 
they do a little bit of every episode. They have to go to a bakery, and um, so we thought we might give it a shot. And uh, here we are at the Tathra Bakery. Not bad. I only got a drink. Uh, co- Rob's getting a coffee, and uh, you got a pizza roll. How's your pizza roll? Yeah, it's warm. It's still warm. So hopefully we'll catch a fish this morning, and uh, get some video of it. Here we are, Margarita Inlet. The river comes down there and opens up into the ocean. So we're going to have a bit of a flick just here and um, have a look at some flatties, whiting. I want a good feed off of flatties, so um, no dogs allowed on this side. That's where we take the dogs over there on that side. They can have dogs over there, they have a bit of a run. And uh, they love it. Dozer freaking loves the water, loves the beach. And Winston's only just getting used to it, so. And, um, but we're here now, we have a fish. Hopefully we catch a good one. All right, Robert's got one here. Come on, take it in, bring it in. Oh, that's a nice hole! Oh, Robbie! Oh, that's a pearler! Yeah, bro! <laughs> that's a pearler! Now, Double only about two casts before he had he quit, had, had one on Ooh, and yeah. it got off right at his feet, so it's pretty good that he got this one. He's got spice as well. Oh, Robbie's on to another one. Oh, that's a good size one. Now, I'm pretty sure, I don't know, someone's going to have to correct me on this, but I reckon, I reckon these might be tailors. So, oh, got the water between the eyes. Yeah, I reckon that's a tailor. Lovely. I'm going to eat We're going to eat these later. Definitely gonna eat you later. All right, Lee, zero. Robbie, two. I got onto one earlier, but it got off. I might have got a bit of excited. Might have pulled the hook, so. I'm gonna have to calm down and try to do some fishing. still here still raining so we've had a big day though we've done a lot of stuff it's been fun um but we're gonna cook a lamb roast tonight a leg of lamb because it's uh, that sort of weather um and this is how we do it so we're gonna quickly show you we take anchovies make slits in them and we stuff them with anchovies and it holds everywhere on both sides and then we take garlic Smack the holes with garlic. We normally stub 
garlic, fresh garlic, fresh garlic in there, but we didn't have any, so improvising. <laughs> and then once it's all done, once it's all finished, all, all stuffed, we take it. Some oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. And we smear it all over, and then it goes into the Weber. And um, we're going to do some veggies as well today. So we're going to do some pumpkin, potatoes, and my favourite, peas with mint sauce. Thank you for watching our video. Stay tuned next week for part three, our final episode of our trip to the Sapphire Coast. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and of course, share with your family and friends. We can also follow us on Instagram. I'll put a link on the screen. Cheers, guys. Mm -hmm.